What's going on guys this is me Mehdi Shakil and you are watching SS Tech Tutorial. So guys today in this video I am going to show you that how you can use this TP-Link WN725N this model Wi-Fi adapter on your Kylinux computer. So further ado let's get started. But before that if you need to this channel then please do subscribe this YouTube channel and if you have already subscribed then thank you so much. Okay now guys let's quickly unbox this Wi-Fi adapter. I am not going to show you the unboxing because there is nothing special to unbox into this Wi-Fi adapter. Into this box, you just only get the Wi Fi adapter itself, a driver disk, and a user manual. So, this is the cheap mini Wi Fi adapter from the TP Link. So, let's connect this Wi Fi adapter quickly with my computer. Now, my Wi Fi adapter has been connected to my computer. Now, if I go to my network icon, here you can see it starts showing all the Wi Fi connection near me. That means we don't need to install the driver in Windows computer to take use of this Wi-Fi adapter. And guys, here is my Kylinux virtual machine. Now let's connect this Wi-Fi adapter to my Kylinux. So I'm going to click on devices, USB, then the Wi-Fi adapter. This is the one, Realtek 802.11n NIC. Okay, now let's open up terminal and type LSUSB to see does it get connected or not. Here you can see. My Kylinux computer has been detected the Wi-Fi adapter and here is the chipset of this Wi-Fi adapter. Let me zoom this terminal. Here it is. Now let's see does it start working with our Kylinux machine or not. So if I go to network icon, go to available networks and here you can see it's already detected and showing all the nearest Wi-Fi connection. Now let's see does this Wi-Fi adapter is capable to get into Wi-Fi monitor mode or not. So here I'm going to type iwconfig then press enter. Here you can see the mode is managed. Now let's try to get into monitor mode. So here I'm going to type sudo rearmon ng start wlan0 then press enter then give the root password. You can see it's showing null adapter. Now let's type iwconfig. It's showing the manage mode. So now let's quickly check does it showing the Wi-Fi network near me or not by the arrow dump ng. So here I'm going to type sudo arrow dump ng wlan0 then press enter. Here you can see this Wi-Fi adapter is not working with arrow dump ng WLAN 0. Okay, now to fix this we have to install the driver for this Wi-Fi adapter. Now let's take note of the chipset of this Wi-Fi adapter. So I'm going to type here LS USB. So this is the chipset model. Now I'm going to open up my browser and I'll try to search a driver for this Wi-Fi adapter chipset. So here I'm going to paste this model name and I'm going to type driver. Let's say GitLab. Here you can see we have a result here and here. Okay, so this is the Realtek RTL8188 EUS DKMS Wi-Fi chipset driver. So let's install this driver. And here you can see it's showing all the steps to install this driver in our Kylinux machine. So first we need to copy or clone this repository. So I'm going to click here, then copy this link. Now you can get back to my terminal. I'm going to change my directory to desktop. So I'm going to type as cd desktop. Then I'm going to type git clone, then paste this URL then press enter. Okay, now this command going to clone this driver repository in my Kalinux desktop. If I type here ls, here you can see the folder. Now let's change our directory to that folder. So I'm going to type here cd, then the folder name. Okay, so here we have all the files. Now again, let's get back to the browser. And here you can see we have all the step and command what you need to execute in our Kalinux. So first of all, we have to blacklist this model. So I'm going to copy this command and paste it on my terminal. Okay, now this Wi-Fi driver is blacklisted. Second, we have to make a reboot. So let's reboot. Okay guys, now our Kalinux machine has been rebooted. Now let's check again, LSUSB. You can see the Wi-Fi adapter is connected. Now change our directory to desktop and into the driver folder. Now again, open up your browser and you should auto reload the page like this. Now here you can see we have to type all of this command make and sudo make install. But before doing that, I'm going to update all of my packages. So here I'm going to type sudo app update, then press enter, then give the root password. Okay, now I'm going to give the root permission to this terminal. So here I'm going to type sudo su. Now to execute this command, we also need to install the DKMS first. So here we have to type sudo app install DKMS then Y and press enter. Now this command going to install the DKMS packages on our Kalinux machine. Okay. Now here you can type make and it should make the driver for you. It's going to take some time depend on your computer specification. 
so you have to wait until the making has been completed okay guys now we have to type another command and that is sudo make install okay now you can close this terminal now we have to again reconnect our wi-fi adapter so go to device usb and disconnect it then again go to device usb and reconnect it now open up terminal let's zoom it and type here ls usb you can see the wi-fi adapter is detected now type iwconfig now it's showing the mode is auto now i think we can get this wi-fi adapter into monitor mode so here we're going to type sudo rearmon ng start wn0 and press enter then give the root password and now here you can see the monitor mode is enabled last time we did not get this message okay now let's try arrow dump ng so here i'm going to type sudo arrow dump ng wn0 then press enter and now you can see it start working okay now let's try for packet injection and let's see does it work or not so here i'm going to type sudo yari play ng dash dash test wlan0 then press enter and now here you can see the injection is also working on this wi-fi adapter so guys like this you can install the driver for this tippling wn725n wi-fi adapter and take use of it into your kinex machine for monitor mode and the packet injection so guys that's all for today i hope you like this video if you really like this video and enjoyed this video then please give it a big thumbs up and share this video with your friends and guys if you need to this channel then please do subscribe this youtube channel and don't forget to press the bell icon to get all the latest upcoming video tutorial notification i'm medhi shakil you are watching us tech tutorial and i'm signing out